Hello, my dear friends. Bears greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. Today, 1st July of 2023, and I am in Kyiv in a park. Last time I visited Vidubichi Botanical Garden and seen interesting place, oak with many caterpillars. But today I'm just in a park. But today I will be talking also about butterflies, about moths and caterpillars. There are not too many caterpillars around, but I'm in a green park. And actually about caterpillars, difficult to say, it's difficult to collect these caterpillars and moths with small butterfly net, because they're pretty big, because I will be talking about silk moth. You know probably silk moths, they produce silk, caterpillars they produce silk. And I have some of them to introduce them to you. Just cocoons of silk moths. Yes, these white cocoons are belonging to silk moths. Yes, very famous one, with, even with exit holes. Because when moth is ex imaging, just moth is making special ex ex excretion and also making exit hole. And who is inside this cocoon? Inside cocoon there is a huge, pretty huge pupa, pupa of moth, like that. You see this very big pupa, but this pupa is a different one. This is the biggest one of a dead head moth. Unfortunately, they, some caterpillars didn't produce adults. Pupa died, but this is pupa. Pupa usually sitting inside cocoon. But today I will be talking not only about cocoons, because I have a real cocoon, a live one, which is sitting here between these leaves. Yes, you see here in the center, this is hidden cocoon of silk moth. Silk moth actius luna. And you see this is walnut branch with eaten leaves and some leaves were swollen and inside these leaves here inside cocoon of silk moth Actius Luna but I had some new creatures and I am very pleased to show you these creatures I got from one amateur entomologist who sent it to me some time ago for introduction for my channel and also I'm very pleased to show you these creatures because these are caterpillars of silk moth yes you see and they're with me last year I showed two years ago not last year two years ago I showed hawk moths and this year I show sil silk moths and this is giant peacock moth caterpillar or just a great peacock moth caterpillars here are three of them one is smaller, one is bigger, and one of the biggest. They're sitting here and eating leaves of this nice, very common walnut. Yes, walnut which is producing nuts, we collected. And you have recognized that these caterpillars are very colorful, very colorful. That's why I'm very pleased to record a video about them and to introduce them to you. Because they're green. They're already about 6 cm size. They're hairy. They're hairy. They're green, with, like with small blue pods. I got them from Chernigov region of Ukraine. One of my friend is rearing some caterpillars at home, just for scientific purpose and for purpose of nature conservation. Because he's rearing these moths, these caterpillars, they produce pupa, and then from pupa come in adults, and he's releasing them to the nature, to the nearest park or forest, just to increase the population. And you see here, so these caterpillars try to escape, or try to feed on just on this branch of this walnut. Yeah, I have seen this caterpillar before, just once. Because this caterpillar 
and three other species of the same family, silk moss, Saturnidae, were pretty rare in Ukraine. Four species included in a red book of endangered and protected species of silk moss. And this is greater emperor silk moth or giant peacock silk moth which is also in the list of protected species because they are not very common in Ukraine they are widely distributed in Ukraine even in the Black Sea region they are distributed in Black Sea nature reserve which is now in a very difficult situation in Kherson region you know what's going on in over there, very difficult situation around Nipper River and around all these places. But we hope for better, for liberation of all these areas, for liberation of our caterpillars and our silk moths as well. What we are eating? This silk moth, this giant peacock silk moth, they are eating different plants, usually of family Rosacea. They are widely, dis widely distributed, for instance, in the South U Europe, like in Greece, where they eat horny, or which is kind of a pear. But in our region we can eat pear, apple, walnut, plum, cherry, even elm and ash. ash. Yes, so that's why they considered to be more or less common, but still I have not seen, I never seen them in the nature because they are pretty rare. I know for sure they are quite big, so they are easy prey for different small animals and for birds. But nevertheless, if they are easy prey because of their size, they are usually sitting moveless, they do not move for self-protection. You see here the smallest and here the biggest. But they are very hairy. They are, I should say they are furry. They are furry and you have recognized already by in black spots. We have a lot of here small warts, small points with blue color and with many hairs. And near all these spots we have a small hairy corolla. Yes, so the whole this caterpillar is really hairy especially near the head like a branch like a branch like corolla of hairs near with the head it's better to see on the bigger magnification for sure but still you have recognized that they are hairy because they are very big and with spots so that's danger for animals for birds and probably they are a little bit poisonous for them that's why if bird will take it in the and try to eat it so caterpillar will release some kind of venom for self-protection and it's not very tasty for birds and for small animals for sure because hairs usually contains some kind of venom for self-protection so you see caterpillar is not very small but still this is maybe half of size because adults moths were flying somewhere in between May and June laying eggs in small numbers on branches of different deciduous trees and shrubs and the larva is growing during June, July, August for the whole three months probably two months because I guess the uh, age of this three months about one month probably they will be growing during one month more but still the size should be increased in two times at least at least we should be increased in two times up to maybe 10 centimeters the whole size of a moth about 10 centimeters or more centimeters but the whole size of a moth is between open wings up to 15 centimeters for male and 12 centimeters for female so a greater imperial moth or Saturnia piri in Latin name. Saturnia piri, this is Saturnia piri in Latin name, is the biggest moth in Ukraine and in Europe. Maybe you can say in your region, somewhere in tropics, in your Asian region, there are a lot of bigger moths, bigger silk moths. 
But in our region, this is the biggest one. So that's why I hope so to show you the bigger caterpillar when she will be growing even bigger. But still I use this opportunity to show you them how they are growing. And I have recorded many small stories about them on my telephone, on my smartphone, to show you how these caterpillars are feeding on different plants and it's really fun. So this is a very nice home pet. Home pet like cat or dog, which is easy to feed with walnut, which is growing everywhere. But it's difficult to find the pet because you have to ask just lepidopterist, the breeder, a zookeeper, who can have either adults or can give you some eggs or some caterpillars for growing. So I'm very happy that my friend from Chernigov district gave me some caterpillars to show them to you. And I'm very pleased to present them just in the nature. So in a green place like that, with some singing birds, you hear it? You can hear some singing birds sitting here near, nearby and I'm very pleased to show you them not in laboratory, just in, just in a room, but outside, because be attentive, be observative, be naturalist. If you can find such kind of caterpillar, do not kill this kind of caterpillar, because they're very nice, because they produce adult, very beautiful moth, which is usually very, very less protected. Protected only in Red Book of Protected Species. But nobody do not protect them in action. Some lepidopterists like this, my friend, he is taking huge efforts in nature conservation, huge efforts in conservation of moss. And we appreciate his efforts and thank you very much for him for sending these caterpillars. And when this caterpillar will grow, I hope so, will pupate, will produce pupa, will produce a very nice cocoon. And from cocoon will appear just moth. But only on the next, on the next year, yes, because this species is very special. After producing pupa inside cocoon, pupa should hibernate, should be overwinter during one year, year, nearly one year, and will hatch only next year. And we hope so that she will emerge, will hatch next year in a peaceful Ukraine. Because now we have peaceful time like now without siren, without air siren, little bit peace, but who knows, situation is difficult, and we hope so very much for the peace in Ukraine in the next year, when these caterpillars will be flying, will be just imaging, because they will be pupa, pupa inside cocoons, and then will hatch as a nice, very beautiful 15 centimeters size moth. And I hope to show you them when they emerge. I will be trying to be careful to, to take this moment of their hatch, hatching. Thank you for watching. If you have questions about caterpillars, about moths, about adults of giant peacock moth, write in the comments in any language that you know. You can use a Google Translator for translation. Thank you for watching. Best greetings to our American friends and, of course, British friends who is supporting Ukraine in all our deals. Thank you for watching. Good luck. See you soon on my channel. And don't forget, subscribe, press like, write your comments and ask your questions to be continued the story about great peacock moth in Latin name Saturnia Piri. I will continue some stories. Thank you very much. Subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. And caterpillars say you bye bye too. Good luck, see you soon on my channel. Bye bye. Subscribe and don't forget to visit Patreon page to be donate donator, patron and make donation. Good luck.